Okay, hey guys. Well, am I right or am I wrong? This is just always the way I've done it. Um, and I've met with a lot of people that hang in hammocks and nobody hangs like I do. Now, and I know there's gonna be some people out there that's gonna say this way or that way, but this way works for me. Um, it's, I started it when I first started hanging uh, about seven years ago uh, when uh, I got involved in the, the meetups and uh, all the bushcrafting with people and the YouTube. It's a simple setup. I got a fixed ridge line. Okay, you can see right there. Um, I just use mule tape basically to you know tie to my trees and stuff and I probably got golly 10 foot of mule tape I've just wrapped around that and I do the same thing to trees as many wraps as I can get to protect them and uh, just simple whoopee sling uh, you can see right in there and it's just one that I put together myself um, now I've got it out here on my porch uh, I don't have a lot of room, so I have a lot of extra whoopee sling. And I can probably go out, golly, 20 foot, 25 foot maybe. Uh, maybe even longer than that, I haven't really measured it. Uh, but it's just a simple fixed ridge line. I go about, I go about chest, chest height right in here uh, when I set up on trees and like I said, I, I'm not really restricted to a 14 foot uh, space or an area um, toward a lot of people when they hang, uh, the higher they have to go with their straps, the further apart they go, uh, trying to seek that 30 degree angle lay. Well, I just don't do it. Am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, this is really comfortable to me. Um, if I can back this up here. Okay, this is really comfortable for me. Uh, my hammock, now it's not a six foot wider. It's only a four foot hammock. I think it only measures nine and a half foot long. So uh, most tarps will cover it just fine. Even cover most of the whoopee sling on the way back you know, as far as the, the length. So I've never gotten wet, slipping in many, many storms. Um, my ridge line's low. It's an advantage to me and it's a disadvantage. So let me set in and show you. None of that, I don't really have any buckles that I have to worry about. Uh, just got the whoopee slings on both sides. I just draw up and they don't give. Um, I used a pretty good size am still to build them to begin with. I think it's like, golly, uh, oh shoot, this one's it's almost a quarter inch. But I've had the other ones break on me, this size here, the 316, so I just use that for my ridge line now. But this is the disadvantage about having a fixed ridge line is you setting in it like this, you can set in it. But uh, the reason I kind of, it's there, it's in your way. But there's some advantages to having it too. And that is, I've got a place to strap my bug net and I have a heat blanket, well I call a heat blanket, and I'll bring it out and show it to you. Um, it lays over the top and it covers all the way down on both sides. So uh, another advantage, Having it low like this, hanging it chest high, is my feet's on the ground. So I'll generally get it stretched in really good when I hang it. And uh, then I'll run over and grab the whoopee sling. Give it a good tighten so that it, it's a good tight ridge line. There's no slack in this ridge line. So, am I right or am I wrong? Okay, hang in there. Okay, here's the other. Let's see, now this would be the end. 
Now this is advantage for having a fixed bridge line. The advantage of having a fixed bridge line is that the tarp is going to connect to the same place every time. Every time. So I don't need. don't need to hang a separate line to hang my tarp. Advantage. So am I right or am I wrong? I guess nobody's right or wrong. It's just how you how you want to hang. So big stretch line, zero stretch cordage, uh, using the am steel which is zero stretch, uh, gives you a place to hang your tarp. Okay, there's more. Okay, having a hammock that's going to hang the same way every single time, where your tarp can attach the same way every time. Advantage lock number three of having a fixed rear climb. Makes it really easy to hang your under quilt. Uh, so am I right or am I wrong? Again, I'd say it's uh, the preference of who's hanging. I'm just hoping uh, this video, in case somebody uh, is getting tired of hanging at the big wide 30 degree angle, has another way of doing it. Been doing it for a long time this way. It's never felt. It has felt me. I had some 3 16 am still break on me after about four or five uses. But I think it was my fault to believe it had a knot in it. So having a fixed ridge line that hangs the same way every time and I can extend my whoopee slings out to probably 25 feet or so and if I have to I can do a stability pole at the end of the hammock and go even further. Remember I hung on a hundred foot ridge line the other day. So that's my hang. I know there's going to be some controversy about it. Somebody's always got something to say. But. This works for me. Uh, works just fine. Now what this allows me to do is, uh, of course, with the fixed ridge line and the tarp, I can pull this right over. I can stake down the other side and drape this tarp straight down. And it kind of creates a still space in here. Um, unlike with the, the high ridge line, it'll be way up in the air. Um, it's kind of hard to do that. And I see a lot of people flying their tarps really high in the winter. And I guess it's for the view of the hammock. Um, but now to keep the heat in the hammock, you, drape, you fold this side over, you let it drape down right at the sides of the hammock, and it creates a still space. Uh, and it's nice and warm. The, the under quilt stays on, on nice the way I've got it here. Now I've got one more thing. The reason why I use a fixed ridge line in the system I do. One more thing. Okay, well I chose not to show you the, the heat blanket that I come up with. That's going to be another video, maybe the next one. But with a low ridge line like this, you can do a thermal blanket right over the top of your ridge line, let it drape down. You can even tuck it into your uh, under quilt if you want to. And like I was saying, if you pull 
when you pull this over and, and strap it down, it creates a, like a two layer in there. Um, it's still vented on both ends so you're not closed off, but your frost layer is out here with the cold areas, your thermal blankets on the inside, and there's a dead space in there. So you don't get really very little um, condensation on the inside using a two layer system like this on top. Now you will have the outer layer of your tarp will have condensation on it when you climb out from underneath it's going to get you back soaking wet. Um, and I've created a automatic ridge line. You can go back to some of my videos and find that where I just use a bungee cord to yank my ridge line up before I get out of the hammock. So am I right or am I wrong? Am I right and the whole world is wrong? I doubt it. <laughs> Is the whole world right and I'm wrong? Wait a minute, that's the same thing. Hey, uh, anyway, that's the way I hang. I hang low, um, I use zero stretch cordage. I don't seek that 30 degree angle. Um, I don't have a six foot wide hammock. Now I can twist a little sideways in this one if I want to, um, but it lays pretty well straight and it's pretty well comfortable. And I sort of tuck my knees up whenever I sleep anyway. So that's my hang, guys. And I wanted to test out this new GoPro I got for Christmas. Uh, thank you to my kids. Um, great Christmas present. So I'm kind of checking it here on the low light situation here on the porch. Um, and getting my hammock ready for a cold night. So just wanted to share, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.